Good evening. Hello to everybody. Uh, right, I'm back again. Right, quick news update for everybody this evening. <laughs> Some interesting stuff tonight. First of all, we haven't done space for ages, so I thought I'd give a couple of chuck outs there for, for about space at the moment for you to go and catch up on. Uh, a new country, not a new country, but a new independent country, we'll call it, jumping into the big space race. Japan. Yeah, Japan has actually launched uh, one of their probes to the moon. Um, so that's first for them. Unfortunately, it's not gone right today. Uh, they've lost, <laughs> they've lost all, all contact with it. So uh, they'll be trying like mad. It may be a technical glitch. Maybe tomorrow they might get it back. I don't know. But at the moment, it's not looking very good for them. But it shows a willing, and that's another country that's going into space. Remember, we've got the at the moment we've got up there. We've got the Chinese space station. We've got the uh, International Space Station. We've got everybody rushing around left, right, and centre. The Chinese wanting to build a base on on the moon. I'm sure the Russians will be thinking the same. Can they get a base on the moon? We've got the um, the the, the uh, <laughs> so many things going on. Uh, Starlink. Their, all their launches are going really well now. Pretty much every two weeks. Bang, bang, bang. They're getting up there. So I think beginning of this year, this year it was 53 launches. They're on target for that. They've also got the heavy heavy lift stuff going up as well. They've also, on top of that, uh, sent the first one to go up and find, uh, to do the moons of Uranus. Uh, um, Uranus. I think it's Jupiter, actually. So, uh, so that, that, was, that was me getting it wrong there. Made me look a bit of a... Oh, yes. Well, anyway. Anyway, so also Pluto, they're trying to get Pluto reclassified as a planet again because remember if you didn't know that it was declassed as a planet uh, i don't know why because it's size or something like that but we all know it and we all love pluto anyway so i've always been said yes it should be reclassified as a planet right that's the space news as it is at the moment no ufos or anything like that. i'll give it di those different updates as i go along all i will say is that uh, America has declassified some more UFO videos. You have to go track them down. Uh, at least one more has been declassified for you to look at. I think it's the one where it's actually passing over the moon. Uh, so, quite an interesting one again. Um, a lot of people on different channels are saying the same as me now. I mean, I'm tiny. <laughs> and I'm going to apologise because apparently I didn't put... The, the connection's right for me to get more than 10 people looking at me. So this is the first one that probably, it might go out to a little bit bit more. If you haven't seen me before, you can tell by me laughing. Uh, I do give you lots of information, but I'm always laughing and joking. I'm trying to cut down on the time, so that's why I'm always looking down to make sure I'm not in too much time and boring everyone solid. Right, moving on to other news. I'm based in the UK. My name is Mick. Remember, push, push, push subscribe if you want to see an idiot. Uh, I fit all those formats. Um, I say things and do things that are my opinion only. Uh, I, I'm not out to uh, have a go at anybody else whatsoever about their opinions i'm a very democratic person i would fight tooth and nail for your right to be different opinion to mine strange and i've got a cold and that's why i'm sniffing like mad right so there you go um look through look through all the things i do you'll see what they do right on with the news anyway right in the uk again uh mr johnson uh yeah he's had his million pound uh, loan and now the guy who gave him the loan, who was running the BBC, has lost his job. Um, now, this is because at the moment, uh, on the 4th of this month, I think it is, we, we're having it, uh, local elections. We anticipate pretty much an entire meltdown of the uh, ruling party, the Conservatives. We anticipate them to be pretty much wiped out in the, in the country uh, because of all the corruption uh, that's going on with them at the moment. We also had an alert that I'm led to believe that someone, again, who's in very much power, uh, made a lot of money out of uh, and annoyed everybody. Right. Uh, and then I also had to comment the other day about the fact that the, the prime minister was driving along with policemen running at the side of the police, running at the side of his motorcade and policemen on push bikes in front of the motorcade. Um, next to him, we'll have bows and arrows or something like that. Now, the only person that I know who, had, who does the same sort of thing is the leader of North Korea. 
That doesn't say a great deal about Great Britain at the moment, does it? Uh, we're all a bit worried about our, our rights, and a lot of programmes are going on about our constitutional rights and things like this. Um, the government are borderline of actually breaking the contract uh, with, with the people, so they're, they're treading very carefully at the moment. We know that this government is finished, that, that's for sure. Uh, that is finished. Uh, there's a lot of other problems going on. They're voting through things like uh, the Immigration Act and things like that. They're voting those through as a, as a last attempt to save their jobs and their careers. I know that Lee Anderson has taken over as like second in charge uh, of one of the parties, uh, the Conservative Party, and and we fully intend him. To, we we fully believe he's going to probably lose his seat in the next general election uh, of Ashfield, but. He's got another job for hundred thousand, so altogether that man could be earning nearly three hundred and three hundred and fifty thousand pound this year. Uh, that's an awful lot to a lot of people, um, especially where he comes from that area. They're not going to take that too well, I don't think. They're going to go now. Who's lining the pockets? Okay, so uh, he's probably got nothing to come from that one. Um, and I assure you, the British people will not let these people get away with it. Because come the next government, everyone's going to be screaming for the, the, a lot of uh, police action against these people who are lying in the pockets. And I think they'll be screaming for people who could be, be visiting the inside of prisons uh, for te making money out of the people's hardships. Uh, there's a lot of problems at the moment and it, the corruption's really starting to uh, overflow. <laughs> And uh, even the, the police are going to take any excuse now. They're going to say, right, you've had a go with us. You've alienated us. We'll, we'll start using the law to, and prosecuting people. OK, right, so that's pretty much the news at the moment. All I will say is one guy uh, from Litchfield, uh, another Tory MP, actually has been fighting about the injections, uh, um, uh, not having the injections, I believe, for covid and he has been thrown out of the Tory party. And I will just say simply, I don't know all too much of it, but he did say to, uh, to on, on a, on a, uh, uh, a broadcast that if he saved one child's life and it meant his loss of his career, then so be it. And I would say with that one statement, young man, uh, you will probably get re-voted back into power. You'll probably get your seat re-voted for, for making that one statement. Because any man will say exactly the same. I mean, if you can save one child's life, it, there is no amount of money um, that is going to make up for that. That is a, a marvellous thing to say. As long as you mean it and do it, then fine. Yeah, And I do believe the guy was genuine. And that was the news. Yeah, I've got no funny stories or anything because I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to get over this cold, to be quite honest. Right, so if you want to catch up with me, push a button, subscribe, tell your friends about it, and hopefully we might get more people watching. All right, take it easy, and uh, we'll catch yours later. Ta-ta!